Hello beautiful people, I am Prairie Vintage Jewelry and today I would like to share my tarot cards and my oracle cards. Uh, first deck here, believe it or not, is from Spirit Halloween and absolutely love these cards. Um, they had them on display there so quite impressed actually with these. Um, if you go on their website you'll see they have different cards sorry let me just get my tool here to open this up they have different cards available and this one is the deluxe tarot cards prism edition and yeah i didn't know really what to expect um and then like i said they had one on display so 18.99 canadian it's a box inside a box and they are iridescent, so this is the back side. Quite cool. All right. Ooh, we have the Empress at the bottom. So these are the cards. Aren't they super duper amazing? I think they're absolutely amazing, and I love them. And the back side. with the palm so we have the page of pentacles the nine of wands pumpkin head hopefully you can pick this up on the camera it's even difficult for my eyes to make these out four of swords the empress death Whole card is iridescent even the back side is iridized six of wands golem looks like it has the zodiac symbol as well associated to the card the Sun Leo now these are really cool so um, they did have the standard, I guess, um, deluxe tarot cards there. Like I said, these are the prism edition, which have that iridescent glow. So I won't know how well the camera picks these up until I watch this video, but I will be recording. Um, I pick a card directly from this video, and I am very excited to use these cards. Um, they shuffle fairly well, despite my nails getting in the way. Except I don't know how to shuffle clearly. Let's try that again. Bit better, still a mess. <laughs> nails don't help, but uh, yeah, they're fairly... Um, relatively easy to shuffle if you don't have long nails um, and the graphic is pretty impressive so you should probably go pick some up if you're interested I don't know how often they um, have the same cards available but I did go to a few of the spirit Halloweens and they all seem to have the same cards so, um, second deck here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you're interested in my bracelets, they're available at prairievintagejewelry.com, so you can certainly visit me there. Um, so yeah, these cards I ordered from Amazon, I actually got today, and these are called the Tarot del Toro. Um, just trying to see who the artist is here don't see it anywhere maybe del toro is the artist oh no here designed and carved by tamisho joe thomas hijo tamishi hijo <laughs> Uh, I swear I can read. Inspired and supervised by Guillermo del Toro. Okay, that one I was able to read. So 
the box definitely seems quite large, so hopefully the cards aren't ginormous, but I have a bunch of cards on my wish list and had to reach a certain um, number for shipping um, spend amount, so I kind of had to pick, and I picked these cards and the Oracle cards, which we'll see after these, but oh my goodness, I'm not disappointed. Look at this book. Tarot del Toro, and the book feels super awesome. Wow. Look at this. So introduction about the artist, Major Arcana. So it looks like each card has their definition. And then a little quote, I guess, attributed to each card. For example, the Wheel of Fortune says, Stay by my side as I fade so you can point to the end of my struggle and the twilight of eternal days at the low et dark edge of life. Interesting. The sun Night is not an absence of light, but in fact, it is daytime that is brief, despite brief reprise from the looming darkness. Respite. I can't read. <laughs> Night is not an absence of light, but in fact, it is daytime that is brief respite from the looming darkness. Now that makes sense. Fairly um, thick pages as well. Very cool. And the cards. Wow. Look at these cards. Aces of Discs. Those are very cool. Okay, so Pentacles all kind of have the same... Look, fairly easy to read. There are cogs and wheels. Valley of discs. I'm assuming this is swords. Yep. So, this would be the king of swords. No, that would be the... Page of Swords, that would be the Knight of Swords, even though it says Discs. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I swear to God, I'm not on any sort of psychotropic medication. <laughs> uh, these are all pentacles, which we saw. And then these are the court cards here. So the King of Pentacles the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and then this is the Ace of Swords. So they're kind of packaged a little differently, which threw me completely off. So then you got the swords and you got knives here mixed with swords, kind of cool. And you got the Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. Oh, I didn't even turn them around. This is very cool. Wow. Very nice. Okay, Ace of Cups. So it looks like the Aces are decorative and then all the Pip cards are fairly much the same, except the number, obviously, of cups or swords corresponding to the card. So you got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and then the King of Cups. And you got the Wands. Oh, these are pretty. So you got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. OK, 
Okay, so here's the major arcana cards, the fool. I really like these cards a lot. Hmm. The hanged. This is the hangman. Pretty crazy. That's death card. That's weird. It doesn't say death at the bottom, but they all do, except for the death card. Interesting. And then you got just your cover card. Okay, well, despite my uh, hiccup in reading and my inability to read cards here, <laughs> um, I would say these are really awesome too. Kind of a little bit tricky to shuffle with my nails, but I would say they're fairly smooth. Let's pull a card here, see what we have. We got the Two of Cups, of course. Love it. All right, so let's put these back. And let us take a look at the last deck of this shopping haul. Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle. And this doesn't have a creator name on there anywhere that I can see. Anyway, these cards on Amazon, well, I don't know, they say $39.99 Canadian, and I'm not quite sure how much I paid, but that sounds about right. And these ones say $26.99 Canadian. Yeah, don't know who the artist is here, but it may say in the booklet. So I was really drawn to the... Uh, images, but also just the simplicity of reading these cards kind of remind me of the soul's journey lesson cards um, That I've used in some of my videos by James Van Pra, which Might be the same artist. I'm not sure. It certainly looks fairly similar Oh, Lon. So, yes, Lon, I guess, is the creator. L O N. That's interesting. About the author on the back. The book is fairly substantial, which I like to see for oracle cards, chakra cards, and then you've got all your activation cards and their meanings. And then some exercises. Um, so for example, realization talks about the oracle card and what it means. And then at the bottom, I'll have try this. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Do you realize the magnificent magnificence? <laughs> it's been a long day. Leave me alone. Uh, magnificent. <laughs> We're going to skip that word altogether. Of who you are and the scale of what you can create while you are here in body. The realization or belief that you are an expression of the creative source makes you a powerful manifester. What it is that you want to accomplish? What is it that you want to accomplish? Very cool. All right. So. All right. Well. I hate those straps because they always leave like indentations on the cards I find when they're on too tight so you got this weird like little marking on there which drives me nuts but the back side I mean they're glossy okay 
universal love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. Remembrance. Oh, they're kind of getting stuck. Romantic love. Soul time. Synergy. Tantric journey. Just feel weird. You don't know if they're too stuck together or it's just one because they're so thick. Transition. Magic. Merkabah. Miracle. Passion. Perception. How many cards are in here? I should say. Forty four cards. There's the chakra cards. All right, well, they're okay. They're a little wide, um, but I mean. as long as you can read better than I can um, <laughs> you got a little definition on the bottom of each card change the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality both inward and outward so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new that's pretty thank you for your messages Ooh, that one's pretty cosmic flower these make me happy looking at these cards. Ooh, Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Very nice. Dynamic. The frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. Nice. So let's see. We'll shuffle. Oh yeah, once you unstick them, they are pretty decent to shuffle. As long as you have fairly long fingers like I do, then you can wrap your hands around it and shuffle. All right, well, <laughs> interesting uh, video for sure, but uh, I was excited to share with you guys, especially these um, ones from Spirit Halloween. Like, look how amazing they are. Two of Swords, Ghost. Like, these are really amazing. Emperor, Ace of Cups. So I thought, I thought they were pretty cool, and I was excited to share these with you. But uh, I'm going to get into a reading shortly. So for those of you guys uh, who are looking for a reading, hopefully um, you stick around for my next video. But thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you soon. Bye!